Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Let's just get down to it. Welcome, welcome to Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Real life stories of inspiration, perseverance, and prosperity. Turn your radio up as loud as possible. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. I hope you have your teacups ready because she has the sugar. Nothing like a cup of brown sugar to sweeten my day. Now let's enjoy some Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Welcome to this week's episode. I am so thankful for the Holy Spirit and the Lord's willingness to communicate with me. Like, I think that I feel so humble. First of all, um, the fact that the Holy Spirit is willing to commune with me and, you know, show me the way. Last week, at the end of last week, I, I was praying and I was asking God for clarity um, in a situation about a situation and, oh, I'm I'm sorry. I I was asking the Lord to guide me what I should do, what decision I should make in a particular situation. Right. And the Lord showed me so clearly that I had lost sight of the reason why I, um, started to do a thing anyway. The reason why I started, the reason why I, I, I committed to a thing, the reason why I signed on the dotted line. Um, he helped me to see that I had lost focus and that's the reason for my confusion. Is it possible that the reason why your production has started to lack, your drive, your the ambition that you, everyone knows that you have, you know, that's, that's, that ambitious is one of the attributes that people think about when they hear your name or see your picture or see your brand. Um, it's starting to sort of fade away. Is it possible that you're losing focus on the reason why you started? I tell you, in that, in that moment when I was thinking, Lord, what should I do? And he's like, this, that, what you're asking me has nothing to do with why I gave you provision in this area, you know, it's sort of like your child asking you, mom, you know, the apples, we forgot to put the, how do we slice up the apples and put it in the the baked mac and cheese? And you're like, wait, what? That's a totally different dish. This has nothing to do with we're preparing for this evening, maybe another day or another, you know, but that has nothing to do with what we're doing here. And we need to get back focused on what we're having for dinner this evening, today, you know, this meal. Um, yeah, is it is it possible that we've sort of deetered off and no longer keeping in our mind and at the forefront of what we're doing? And I, to be honest, what we should be focused on is Jesus. What does he think about what we're doing? Is he getting the glory out of what we're doing? And if he's not, and we're not centered on that, the instruction, the direction um, that he has given us, then what are we doing? Have we lost sight of the purpose of a thing? And one one thing I love to use is marriage. Um, the scenario that I was praying about was actually as it relates to career, but um, marriage is a great great example of you know staying focused and um staying ambitious and and your drive being there i think sometimes we get in marriage and we 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 think about us we think about myself and me but no the covenant of marriage is to is to bring glory to um to the lord that's not it's not a us thing you know and one of the uh, attributes of love is actually long suffering you know um, what can your marriage do for the kingdom of God? What can your business do for the kingdom of God? What can your family do for the kingdom of God? What can your life, what can your pain, what can your joy do for the kingdom of God? Um, are we focused on that? Or are we just focused on ourselves? Are we just focused on our kids? Are we just focused on our kids looking good and going to college and being Um, looking studious for prom and spelling bee champs and all. Uh, No, Jesus, Jesus. What does Jesus think about this? Is he at the forefront? Are we worried about vanity and 
um, the perception that other people have on us, or are we focused on Jesus? Wow. Okay, I think I think I'm a, I think I'm a, leave that question open. Yeah. As always, if you would like to stay connected with me, we can stay connected via Instagram at Keisha Austin underscore. I'm also on YouTube at Coach Keisha Austin. And I also have an online store for plus size women who enjoy vintage and modern colorful pieces um, at bomb period plus vintage um, on Instagram and Facebook. You all take care and have a wonderful rest of your week.